In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, multiplying integers. And in this uh, first example, uh, we're multiplying positive 2 by positive 5. So how I can model that using a number line is, so here's positive 2. Okay, I've gone 2. And if I'm multiplying by positive 5, I'm going to do that 5 times. So there's a second one, a third one, a fourth one, and a fifth one. So each of these are positive 2, and multiplying by 5 means I have 5 of those. So notice that we end up at positive 10, so that multiplies to positive 10. So let's erase this. So next one is positive 3 times positive 4. So positive 3 would be that. And if I'm multiplying it by 4, I'm doing that 4 times. So there's a second time, third time, a fourth time. So I'm at positive 12. So that would multiply to positive 12. Okay, let's erase this. All. Okay, so uh, next one, negative 6 times 2. So negative 6 means that I've done that. I've gone... Uh, in a negative 6 direction, uh, and I'm doing that two times. So another negative 6 would take me down here. See, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a negative direction. So that would multiply to negative 12. Okay, let's erase this. Now, so I have a very similar one in D. Uh, I'm still multiplying a 2 and a 6, but instead I have the 2 being negative and the 6 being positive. So you can think of this as the first number is negative 2, so I'm going 2 to the left, 2 in a negative direction. And this, think of it as a count, 6 times I'm going to do that. So that's a second one, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. And so notice that that still gives us negative 12 when we multiply it. Now, in this one, it was negative 2 and that we're multiplying by 6, and notice we did it 6 times. Now, the difference with E is I'm still starting with negative 2, okay, but I'm multiplying it by negative 6. So instead of going 6 times negative 2, if I'm multiplying by the opposite integer, see this is positive 6 and this is negative 6, then that means I have to be going in the opposite direction. So, let me erase what's on my number line. So, what we would do for this one is, is it's actually going to be negative 2 that we're going to do 6 times. So, it's actually going to be... 5, and that would be 6. So that's going to end up being a positive 12. Okay. So, uh, again, it's because, like, if you think of this as a count, so 6 times I went negative 2 for that one. So if I'm multiplying by the opposite integer, I have to be going in the opposite direction for this one. So that's why this ends up being a positive 12 instead of negative 12. Okay, let's see, race we got up here. Uh, so uh, positive 3 times negative 4. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, now, when you're, when you're multiplying this, I can think of this, actually, as I can just to turn it around, just to give you an idea why we're going to go the direction we are. You could think of it as negative 4 times positive 3. Remember, when you're multiplying two numbers, it doesn't matter what order you multiply them, like 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. You can switch the order. It's still the same thing. So you could think of this instead as I'm going to do negative 4 three times. There's the second one, and there's the third one. So I end up at negative 12. Okay. So positive 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So you could instead think of this like going um, the positive 3 four times, or 
negative 4 times, or that's why we're going down this direction. So that would actually show that it's negative 12 as well. Okay, let's get rid of this. Back to my pen. Okay. Positive 5 times negative 2. Now, if I was doing 5 times 2, I would go 5 twice. But because I'm multiplying by negative 2, I'm going to go 5 twice in this direction. And again, just like the one above, you could turn this around and think of it as the negative 2 times positive 5, if you want to use the number line. Okay, so that would mean that five times I did negative two. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, and we still get negative ten. Okay, so let's erase that. Okay, so h here, negative eight times negative two. So um, a negative 8. Now, if this was a positive 2 here, then we would go a negative 8 and then another negative 8 over here. But because we're multiplying it by a negative 2, and let me just, well, I'll leave it there. Be, then what we're going to do actually is we're going to do that twice in this direction. So, that ends up being a positive 16. So and again, remember, if I had negative 8, and if I was multiplying it by positive 2, then I would, again, I would go 8 twice in this direction. But since I'm multiplying it by negative 2, I would actually end up going in the opposite direction. So that's why we get to positive 16. Okay, let's get rid of this. My little there. Okay. Okay, I'm just about to summarize. I'm going to do one more here and then I'm going to summarize these rules. Uh, negative 11 times negative 1. So if I, if I was doing negative 11 times positive 1, then uh, I would go negative 11 one time. But I'm not doing that one time I'm multiplying by negative one. So I have to go in the opposite direction. So you actually end up going 11 in this direction one time. So that will add, or sorry, multiply to positive 11. Okay, so let me erase what I don't want to keep here. And up here, back to my pen. So Here's the rules, and I've gone through what two, four, six, eight, nine examples. So two things I want you to know: when you multiply two integers the same sign, that always multiplies to a positive. And here's five examples of that. So they're both positive it multiplies to a positive. Both positive multiplies to a positive. Okay. Both negative multiplies to a positive because they're the same two signs. Same with this one: a negative times a negative is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. Now, if two integers are different signs, like these four examples, they multiply to a negative. So a negative times a positive is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. Okay? A positive times a negative. See, one positive, one negative. It's a negative. Okay? Same with this one. A positive times a negative is a negative. So you're just multiplying the numbers and using these two rules to figure out Two positives multiply to a positive, two negatives multiply to a positive, or if there's one negative and one positive, it's negative. So let's take a let's use those in, in this next one. So we're multiplying positive seven by positive five. Seven times five is thirty-five, and they're both positive, so that's positive thirty-five. In K, negative eight times negative four, well, eight times four is thirty-two. And since they're both negative, it's the first rule up here. Two negatives multiply to a positive. Negative nine times seven, yeah, nine times seven is 63. And we have a single negative and just one positive. So the second rule applies here, and it would be negative 63. Uh, M, six times three is 18. So I write 18 down and look at my signs. There's one positive, one negative. So it's the second one again here, and it would be negative 18. 
Uh, negative 6 times negative 3. Now notice I, it's almost the same question, except see I have a negative here. So 6 times 3 is still 18, but because they're both negative, it's the first rule. Okay, so that would be a positive 18. And the last one on O, uh, negative 11 times negative 8, so 11 times 8 is 88. And two negatives, okay, first rule again, that would multiply to a positive, so that would be positive 88. So use these rules for multiplying pairs of integers together. If they're the same sign, it's a positive. If one's positive and one's negative, it's going to be negative. And that's the end of the tutorial.